closet thing. Or a bedroom pantry. Yep, it could be a bedroom pantry. You put your Oreos and stuff in here. <laughs> you would. Good old Toledo. Yes, we are at the Toledo RV show. We, it's been a couple years since we've been here to this show. But we'll probably see everything in about half hour. I mean, it's small, <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a nice show. I yeah. mean, we never, it's nice to see all the local RV dealers to us represented in one building. And I see. I see Super C. Super C, we both saw it at the same time. Class B's are very popular. There's a lot of them here. Normally we don't see this many at this show. There's a ton. It's got a pretty big square shower. Wow, that is pretty large. What do you think about those closets? It's got washer dryer prep. Oh. That's always good. Mm -hmm. I like the big countertop space in here. Yeah, it's something I wish that we had more of in our bathroom was countertop. It's not terrible. Yeah, but... we've had worse, but it, it's decent. Yeah, it's not bad. how it got so crowded after two minutes. Pop the model. Yeah. Going into a mini Winnie. I like this one. So 126. It's a 23 mini Winnie 26T. Okay. At least the pantry has some drawers. That's nice. I like the big sink. regular little microwave but I kind of like the layout of the kitchen it gives you a nice space nice I already space. have a prediction that this corner right here oh my gosh is going if, if this were our camper would hit me you'd have so many head wounds <laughs> yes and that's sharp that yeah that's not ideal because there's a step right here it's tight 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 yeah it is yeah that's it's a mini winnie yeah it's dangerous for anyone over six foot <laughs> i mean the bathroom size is not bad it's kind of weird that it has this uh flip door because it has the all the way down it looks like uh the bed has to flip up for travel so it's not really usable unless the slide is out for the bedroom so that's another ding. Foldable bed. Yeah. But it does have theater seating. It's not bad for just a shorter couple. <laughs> There's two TVs in this living room. Oh, yeah, there is. TV there, oh, TV there. Sure. See, this is my kind of camping. <laughs> Two football games at the same time. Thor Inception 38XX. 255K. Plus tax. You can do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll go but, 30 I mean, years look on at it. How this kitchen is really nice, and then this pulls out as added countertop space. She could jump That's on great. it. This one's got layers. Surprise the sink yeah. is as small as it is, it's but it's still cool. workable. It's They're got the combination of one induction to cook tubs. I want to go hydraulic. Yeah, take a look at this shower head. So when you hit the brakes and it buzzes, I can get I do like that it has a full length mirror. That's not a waterfall. Being on a boat. It's like we're on a boat in here. Just the, oh, big fiberglass shower, one piece. That's nice. I like it. Good countertop space. Very nice. B 
BT36 4x4, obviously, and they want 220000 But it looks like it has a bath and a half. Okay, so it looks like there's some plugs down there. Maybe that's where the prep would be. Yeah, it's probably prep for a washer dryer, and it's good because you can do the stacks instead of a combo. Right, yeah. More stuff. Good drawer space. Hmm. Not a one piece fire box. Don't use it. Grin on your face, <laughs> I just have to remember not to not to talk when you're recording. Yeah, because we're both wearing mics. It'll pick you up. And I can't use the audio. I can't say all the things <laughs> I want to say. All the things that I'm thinking. Yeah. That step is broken. Oh, this one. Like the. Ours is doing that too. I know, but ours is three years old with heavy usage. This is yeah. brand new. Winnebago. Get out of here. What model is this one? I like the floors. They're nice and dark. Sorry, I'd have to do Hides all the dirty dog pod. 147. That's not too bad. Vista 29V. 29V, Mikey. Yeah, it's not bad. I like the dark floors. Okay, so I'll look above the bed. Okay. That's me. Oh, I hate the swinging outdoor. That's an easy change, though. I hate it because it drips water all over the floor when you open it. And then it's tough to get out when you're opening the door and the door is closed right here. You've got this much space. Not a fan of that, but a Norcold. That's 12 volt? Yeah, I bet yep. you it is. It's nice and deep black. Yep, that's how you like. <laughs> Pantry, okay, so it doesn't have the pull out drawers, but it does come with these little baskets, which you can pull in and out, which is nice. This bed would not be good for a guy, because there's a step right here, and then the bed's way up here. Let's see. If you look in the mirror, and you can see it comes up to my hips. So, we'd have to help guy up and down this, but. For sure. Not for too much longer, though. Just sleep on the floor. <laughs> yeah, okay. But it does have an oven, a suburban as well. I mean, it's small, but functional. Greyhawk 29MV for one thirty-two nine. Okay. It's got the typical overhead bunk. Class C cab area has uh, some nice theater seats. <laughs> theater seats. Oh, they even have a little stage for the Dindins. It's got a lot of room. It's yeah. Very roomy. Okay, it's got the cutting board with the drying rack. Oh, it's got the, the double fridge. Pass your bathroom, your favorite. Yeah. Okay. That faucet would need to go too low for washing your face and stuff, but that's an easy fix. Overall, though, I do like the the, floor the layout plan. of this one, the floor plan, the colors, and yeah, me too. I like it's it a bad. lot. And this is a big door. Yeah, it's big closets. I do like the big mirror, though. That is nice. And it, you won't need to fold it in when it's in, so it's fully usable, which is nice. I don't think I've ever seen the Toledo show be this busy before. Yeah. No, it's sign not fun. The, a sign of the times, for sure. Bunkhouse sleeps 10. Oh my god. Dry erase surface. Oh, that is kind of cool. I don't know when I would use it, but... Big 
Lake Sink. Ever chill. That's a 12V. 12 volt. Okay, big pantry. That is huge. This is the bunkhouse that's supposed to sleep 10. So, I mean, you've got probably one, two, three, four, unless the kids are older. But those are two separate. They're like big back here. And there's a pocket door so you can close them in here. <laughs> yeah. Like, go to bed. And then they got their escape hatch right there. Oh, yeah. Sure do. And then we have a little dinette and couch. I do like the fireplace. This is where the TV would go. Bathroom's not bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's actually space to walk around in here. Don't really see that very often. Surprised there's not a door, entry door here, but that's okay. It's not bad bedroom. It's typical of travel trailer bedroom. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's a little bit small, but yeah totally doable for me where does that go oh okay like a closet thing or a bedroom pantry yep it could be a bedroom pantry put your oreos and stuff in here <laughs> you would <laughs> i hear crinkling of <laughs> like wrappers nacho chips and... <laughs> got a j feather micro 166 <laughs> fbs <laughs> oh yeah wow it's tiny TV. How's that bathroom? <laughs> it's tiny. Well, let's see what it looks like. Let's put this back. It's not bad. I don't want to say that it's tiny like in a bad way. Right. If it was just you and I, that's it. No dogs. This would be fine. Who thinks that'll ever happen? It's, that'll never happen. <laughs> I'm just saying in yeah. some <laughs> fantasy land. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you and I, this would fit the bill. But by the time you put two dogs in here, no, it's not happening. Yeah. It's smaller, but man, because it's so deep though. Must You must be distracted because you didn't say, that's what she said. <laughs> I, I thought it, but I'm sending a text. <laughs> no oven, but it has the cooktop. Maybe this is, oh, this one's convection for sure. So you do have a very small convection, but you do have an oven. That's nice. I mean, for as small as it is, there's quite a bit of storage. Yes, there is. It looks like the TV's got hinges, so there's got to be... A way to pull it out and... Oh, okay. See, so you figure it all out. Yep. A lot of storage. Oh yeah. Wow, there's a lot back there. Yeah. And it has this other uh, table swinging out yeah, thing. Yeah, for where on the, for the that other side. end. Yeah. I think, believe this is jackknife as well. So if you're looking for something small, this one's 29.9. It's not bad. No. I do like that the cabinets are white or uh, off-white cream or whatever, just because it makes it feel bigger in here for such a small space. But then I also love that they have it contrasting with the uppers as dark, like it. The unloaded vehicle weight is 4,156 pounds. Oh yeah. As light. Fresh, fresh tank is 55 gallons. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. 30 gray, 30 black. That's pretty good for such a small, little, tiny yeah, camper. Yeah, it's less than 20 feet long. That's a lot of water. For Our gross camper. vehicle weight rating is 4,995 pounds. Mm, way too big. It's going to be pretty low on the payload. Carrying capacity, 839. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might have a lot of storage, but hopefully your stuff does not weigh a whole lot. Yeah. This one is a Zinger 292 RE. It's a budget friendly. One thing I don't like about these is they don't tint the windows. Just give us a little tint. Oh, no, it's crystal clear right from the inside looking Yeah, in. so if you have something like this, always remember to pull your shades. But this is something that's kind of new. They have two yeah. like bench seats. It's like a little like bar. Stools. That's, yeah, yeah, it's nice. So there's quite a bit of seating because you got the. I like that there's no dinette, standing table, and chairs. And it's only well, thirty-eight thousand. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's see here. 33 feet, six inches, so it's not terrible long. Fresh 51, black 44, gray 44. Get you an oven. Nice refrigerator. A 12 volt fridge. Yep. Please raise glass before cooking on burners. Oh, you think? <laughs> I guarantee you the sticker's there because somebody did it. Yeah, and then they popped the glass. But this is, I like this pantry better than our pantry. It still has some depth to it, but it's a lot wider. <laughs> More accessible. Oh, it goes right through. Okay. So it kind of is a pass through, but it's not across the hall. I like this better personally than across the hall. You don't it's, see it, too it's not bad. Not your favorite. Yeah. I do like how you can close that door behind you. Maybe. And then this stays open and you've got the whole front yeah. part of the, the trailer. Right. Big nightstands. Decent little closet, little storage bin up there. Vent. It's a budget friendly travel trailer. It's not bad. Yeah. Good floor plan. This one has an outdoor kitchen. It's a Freedom Express 252 RBS. And the going rate for this one is 37.9. Same as last one. Okay. This is slightly different. It's not bad. I like it. Actually. You can sit in a theater Look seat and it. face the TV. And it's got like the theater seats that do things. Okay, so it's like a bench dinette, so that's nice. I do like this wood green looking top with a fireplace that faces the TV. Kitchen, very spacious. I do like the cabinets, there's a lot of them. And it is a single basin sink, which is my favorite. Okay, it's got your uh, silverware. There's a ton of floor sp uh, space in here. Yeah, and there is. Do you see the fireplace? Yes. Fireplace is really nice. Bathroom um, pantry right oh, here. That is a, no, that is the pantry pantry. Actually, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> here we have a 12 volt Magic Chef. Refrigerator. Let's check out this rear bath, which is one of our favorites because it means it's big. Yeah. And you get about is. three quarters of the width of the trailer because it can give you this massive storage. Oh, yeah. And this out is the outside yep, that's the outdoor, kitchen yep. on the other side. With some lots of vents. I like this floor plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a ton of walking space in here. It does have a door that slides, but... Overall, I do like this floor plan. We did the Toledo RV show in near record time. <laughs> Compared to other RV shows, that is. Well, it's so small. Yeah. So it doesn't take long to get through it. Plus, we're not shopping. That's true. We're just looking. Mm -hmm. If we were actually shopping, it would take us a lot longer, and we probably wouldn't have went there on a Saturday if we were shopping. Yeah, they had everything though. I mean, they had pop-ups, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, uh, the vans, yes. class C's, class A's, super C's. Oh, they had it all, and that's something that we love to give props for Toledo. Like, we went to the Outdoor IX Center. They had like one class a and like one class c i'm like this is pathetic <laughs> and we did run into some subscribers we did and we, and we said hi to scott yes uh scott came all the way from illinois and uh caught us on the, <laughs> the way Toledo out show. oh my gosh he deserves an award for coming from illinois <laughs> so hopefully we'll get to see them again and thanks to everyone else who stopped and said hello there's a handful of people so that's always good to see everyone but for now, we're gonna go get Mike some food because he gave me two warnings already and it's it's getting rough out here, You guys. don't want three. No. At I, three, it's no longer a warning. No, he's, he's driving too, so he's gonna start getting all aggressive <laughs> like. You know? So uh, until next time, see ya. See ya. Looks like there there's some butterfly boxes here. <laughs> I bet those are tiny. <laughs> Stop.